President Obama has again pressed President Putin to implement a peace plan for Ukraine as pro-Russian separatists there agreed to a four-day ceasefire. The BBC's Kira Redden has this report. Guns still around their shoulders, these rebels are waiting to go into preliminary peace talks in Donetsk. Inside, the talks are led by Ukraine's former president, Leonid Kushma. Also around the table, the Russian ambassador to Kiev, European officials and the Eastern separatists. The outcome was somewhat of a surprise. The leader of the pro-Russia rebel group agreed to honour the unilateral ceasefire. In response to the ceasefire announced by the Kiev authorities, we agreed to maintain a ceasefire on our part and not to conduct any military activities. The dates of the ceasefire remain the same as announced by Kiev until 10 a.m. on June the 27th. So what more do we know about the ceasefire? Well, on Friday, Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko announced that it was part of a 15-point peace plan and the truce would last a week. However, if they were fired upon, they would fire back. The plan involves decentralizing power, holding early elections and creating a 10-kilometer buffer zone on the Ukrainian-Russian border. So the question is, will this ceasefire hold? On the Ukrainian side, masked volunteers are still getting ready to go to the east. Russian President Vladimir Putin has given a conditional approval to Mr. Porchenko's peace plan. But for it to work, both the insurgents and the Ukrainian forces need to honour the truce and engage in more talks to help resolve the conflict that has left hundreds dead in eastern Ukraine. Kira Reardon, BBC News.